Welcome to our video on the Kano model. Today, we'll explore its history, background, and its significance in product development. The Kano model was developed in 1984 by Professor Noriaki Kano. It was designed to help understand customer satisfaction and prioritize product features. Professor Kano, a Japanese researcher and consultant, introduced this model to bridge the gap between product attributes and customer satisfaction. The Kano model categorizes product features into three main types, basic needs, performance needs, and excitement needs. Each type affects customer satisfaction differently. Basic needs are the essential features that customers expect. If these needs are not met, customers will be dissatisfied. However, meeting these needs does not significantly increase satisfaction. Performance needs are directly proportional to customer satisfaction. The better you fulfill these needs, the more satisfied your customers will be. Excitement needs are the features that delight customers. These are not expected, so their presence greatly increases satisfaction, but their absence does not cause dissatisfaction. By understanding and categorizing features into these three types, the Kano model helps prioritize which features to focus on during product development. The Kano model is a valuable tool for product developers. It ensures that the right features are prioritized, leading to higher customer satisfaction and better product success. Must-be attributes are the basic needs that customers expect from a product. If these needs are not met, customers will be extremely dissatisfied. One-dimensional attributes are performance needs. The more these needs are fulfilled, the more satisfied the customer will be. Attractive attributes are excitement needs. These are features that customers do not expect but are delighted when they find them. Indifferent attributes are features that do not influence customer satisfaction, whether they are present or not. Reverse attributes are features that some customers may dislike even if they are generally considered positive by others. Basic needs are the essential features that customers expect. For example, in the hospitality industry, a clean room and a comfortable bed are basic needs. If these are not met, customer satisfaction will plummet. Performance needs are features that increase customer satisfaction proportionally. In the automotive industry, fuel efficiency is a performance need. The better the fuel efficiency, the higher the customer satisfaction. Excitement needs are features that delight customers and exceed their expectations. In the restaurant industry, a complimentary gourmet dish can be an excitement need, creating a memorable dining experience. In the retail industry, self-checkout machines can be classified as performance needs. They improve the shopping experience by reducing wait times, directly impacting customer satisfaction. In the healthcare industry, an online appointment booking system can be an excitement need. It offers convenience and flexibility, greatly enhancing patient satisfaction. To classify features using the Kano model, gather customer feedback and analyze it to determine which category each feature falls into. This helps prioritize development efforts effectively. To truly understand customer needs, it's essential to observe their behavior in real-world settings. Notice how customers interact with the staff and the choices they make. Focus groups are a valuable tool for gathering insights directly from customers. By facilitating open discussions, you can uncover both stated and unstated needs. Surveys allow you to collect quantitative data on customer preferences and satisfaction. Ensure your questions are clear and cover various aspects of the customer experience. Customer service interactions can reveal a lot about customer needs. Pay attention to recurring issues and feedback to identify common pain points. 
Analyzing customer feedback from various channels helps in understanding broader trends and patterns. Look for common themes that indicate underlying needs. In-depth interviews provide a deeper understanding of individual customer experiences and needs. These conversations can uncover insights that are not apparent in group settings. Differentiating between stated and unstated needs is crucial. Stated needs are what customers explicitly say they want, while unstated needs are the underlying desires that drive their behavior. Brainstorming sessions with cross-functional teams can generate innovative solutions to meet customer needs. Diverse perspectives often lead to more comprehensive understanding and creative ideas. In the realm of customer satisfaction, the Kano model offers a unique perspective on innovation. By categorizing features into basic performance and excitement attributes, businesses can identify which innovations will truly delight customers. Excitement attributes, in particular, are those unexpected features that can significantly enhance customer satisfaction and differentiate a product in the market. Using Kano analysis for market segmentation allows businesses to tailor their offerings to different customer groups. By understanding which features are considered must-haves, performance enhancers, or delighters for each segment, companies can prioritize development efforts and marketing strategies more effectively. This targeted approach can lead to higher customer satisfaction and loyalty across diverse market segments. Trends and future directions in customer satisfaction analysis are increasingly influenced by advanced data analytics and machine learning. These technologies enable more precise and dynamic application of the Kano model, allowing businesses to continuously adapt to changing customer preferences. As customer expectations evolve, the ability to quickly identify and implement new excitement attributes will be crucial for maintaining competitive advantage. This video was sponsored by Heflo, a cloud platform that provides artificial intelligence features for automating and documenting business processes. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos about management.